Good morning, Year 9, and welcome to your music lesson for today. Our task is we're going to be continuing to work on our horror film composition, but this time we are using a different film clip. We are going to be watching this very quick 1 minute 40 film clip. I will play you just the first bit of it, however it is attached on Show My Homework, as well as on BandLab for you to watch. So you can either watch the YouTube link initially, or you can download it, that is up to you. For this task, we want to be creating music for the first 30 seconds, so I'll show you what that is. So it is only that first sort of 30 seconds that you need to create a piece for. So what we're going to do, um, our horror film composition. So it says we are doing a horror unit project, um, the clip is 1 minute 41 seconds. You can use any FX sound, you can use loops, vocal effects, has to be the length of the clip, that's the overall project but remember the first 30 seconds for today's lesson. Needs to include one string instrument and needs to include a drum beat section. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up in the mixer. And I need to think about the first 30 seconds. Now if I, if we remember just from watching the video just now, um, it opens up with a scene of a man in a hazmat suit or a complete uh, nuclear suit. And he is sort of creeping through what looks to be a warehouse with an axe. So it's a very full-on opening scene. Um, it's really important to think about the way that the actors and people on on the scene in the scene, sorry, are moving. So he's moving in a very creeping, slow manner. So I want to make sure that my music is going to reflect this opening scene. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a string instrument. I'm going to go to instruments. You know that this will automatically pop up with our piano roll. We're going to change it from piano to strings, okay? There is also a, a special effects type one as well. So you can use this as well if you would like. However, we are going to use strings to begin with. Now, when you first open up the strings, it's quite low. So I want to bring the octave up. Now, I need to think about the first part. So I'm going to set my BPM. I'm going to leave it just on this one. When I press record, it will give me my clicks to begin with. I don't need my clicks throughout. So I'm going to press record. So I'm going to leave my piece there. I was playing around with just notes on the strings that are quite high up in pitch. Um, the higher in pitch tends to make things sound more scary or more creepy. So we have this. I'm going to add another sort of string sound. Let's do that. So again, open up to my instruments. Let's go to strings. This time instead of using orchestra. Maybe I could use the sitar. Let's see what that sounds like. No, I don't think that gives us the right type of sound. Let us use cello. Okay, so let's see what I could do on top. Try 
try something. Lovely. So again, I'm just randomly trying out to see what could work. Let me add a loop instrument because I want to put an FX, a special effects sound on there. That's what it says, FX. Let's have a listen. This could work. I'm going to drop that one in. If I pull this one to the beginning. Also, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this cello instrument a lot quieter. Because it is really loud. Let's have a listen now. And I'm going to put a special effect on this. I'm going to put a delay on it um, and I'm also going to add a little bit of distortion, see what that sounds like. I'm also going to drag this effect as it starts to speed up this one a bit back. Let's bring it to about here. Okay, so let's have a listen to this all together. So this is the right length. I've actually gone over it, but let's see. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to cut the piece of music. So that it can all start directly on time. I want to make sure everything's in the correct place. So I'm going to drag all of it and pull it all back. Let's have a listen. Sorry, as I'm here now, I'm going to add one more of these type of sounds. Okay, so I'm going to add one more. I'm going to go to where it's got the drawing tool here, add note, so it's next to here. And I'm going to put another. So let's pull it back and see if that's in, it's kind of in time. Okay, I'm also going to add to this string instrument effects to I'm going to add the same distortion, but I'm going to go to Fuzz Screamer and see what that sounds like instead. And I'm also going to add some reverb. Now, reverb um, is a type of echoey sort of sound, and it's usually used on lots of singers. But what it does, it's going to make it sound quite spacey. So I'm going to increase the room size. 
And where it says increase the mix, that's going to be the amount that's going through. So it's the amount of signal. So amount of this special signal, like let's say a, you know when you sing and in a choir sings in a church, that type of sound that it has, an echo. What reverb does, it adds an echo type sound to your voice. So that is what I want to do and add to this stringed instrument, just to try and make it sound more haunting. I turn up my music, let's have a listen. really good so let's see now um i'm gonna pop this so far just this intro bit onto the end of the video and i want you to be the judge of what you think and if you think that works so we're only going to focus on that first 30 seconds before we focus on the ending where they are running and chasing each other and it gets a bit more intense if you have any questions please send me a message on show my homework i will answer as soon as i can um, but I'm really excited and look forward to hearing these compositions.